we'll be working with. Do something cool. This channel is about how a newbie fisherman like me becomes a fishing sage through all the failures I encounter. Feel free to join me on this journey and most importantly, let's catch some dinner. Alright, so I'm back here at Angle Lake. Let's try to catch some trout because there was no bass biting over there. So I'm not going to spend too much time over there. Let's try to see if during the fall, we can actually catch trout at Angle Lake. That'll be nice to know. Catch that dinner. Leader uh, floating bait uh, rig with um, a two ounce weight sliding over here to a swivel that has a five foot leader all the way to this uh, power bait ball here that works really well on the farm trout or hatchery trout So um, this push was so small, I didn't even notice that I ate it. So <laughs> there you go, I'm going to be eating perch for the first time today. Yes, first perch that I've caught at Angle Lake. But this is actually pretty amazing. It tried to steal the bait, but nope, it's caught. <laughs> so tiny, I'm still going to eat it. Catch that dinner. Alright, so it looks like this guy is it for us today. He's gonna be our snack. Looks tasty. Catch that dinner. Um, we have a perch that we caught that we'll be working with. I'm going to kill it instantly uh, by uh, cutting on its vertebrae right here. Now I've heard that perch is a pretty sweet meat, so I'm kind of excited about this. Let's see what kind of taste we can get out of this one. That's the guts.
ready. Let's go cook it. table once again. I'll be I'm taking a taste of this uh, freshwater perch. This is my first time eating the freshwater perch. So um, let's dig right in. I'm a little excited about this. I've heard good things. I actually I heard that uh, these fish, while being small, actually tasted very good. So um, before we're taking out, let's give it a try. So they taste just like rockfish from the restaurants. Um, they taste very good. Uh, so um, next time you catch a perch from freshwater too, I highly recommend it. Doesn't have any of the um, freshwater. Um, fishy taste to it at all. Uh, it almost tastes like saltwater fish, like a raw fish. It's very good though, very good meat. I would say if it's a contender against flounder, uh, I actually might enjoy this meat better than flounder. I don't know. I'll have to catch another flounder and see and compare. Um, but this is really good. Mm. The meat is very white. I'll show you guys what the meat looks like in a bit. So this is what the meat looks like. It's pretty white. Uh, and that's the skin. Pretty crispy from the frying. And it's very good. I don't know how else to describe the taste. It's just very good fish. Yeah, I don't fish. I don't taste any of the fishy taste on it at all, whatsoever. Not even a trace. Um, so this is a very good, very very high quality fish. Um, yeah, who would have known? These perch are actually quite small uh, in the freshwater lakes around here in uh, around the Puget Sound area. Um, I've caught perch from uh, Steel Lake. I've caught perch from Angle Lake now. I've caught perch from um, all over the place. Um, and I never knew that this meat was so good. I always just release them. Well, you've seen me release them before. Um, so yeah, I would say take, take one home if it's a, a good size, take one home and try it out. I think uh, just salt and pepper will be really great too. I use Johnny's seasoning for this, but oh, very good. Half fire. Catch that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> 